All right, everybody, buckle up, because today we're taking a deep dive into the world of trailer hitches. Definitely a popular request, gotta say. Yeah, and you know what I'm learning about hitches? Way more fascinating than I ever would have guessed. And we're focusing on a particular one, the ProPride 3P, right? That's right. It's one of those things. You see it out there. It's got a great reputation. But most people, including myself, I'll admit, never really stop to think about, like, the history behind it. How did this thing come to be? Right. Like, it just magically appeared on the market one day, fully formed. Exactly. So get this. The story starts back in 1972. Okay, bell bottoms, disco fever. Yeah, you're painting the picture. And in the middle of all that, we've got a guy named Jim Hensley just tinkering away in his workshop. He comes up with this totally new concept for a trailer hitch. A new concept? Was this like a totally new invention? Oh, yeah. We're talking groundbreaking stuff. Yeah. Nothing like it had ever been patented before. This wasn't just a small improvement. He was really pushing the boundaries. Wow. So what was the big deal about Jim's invention? What problem is he trying to solve? Think about towing a trailer, right? You're cruising down the highway. Maybe a big gust of wind hits you or a truck passes a little too close. The trailer starts swaying. Oh, I've seen that happen. It's scary. It can be really dangerous. Yeah. And back then there wasn't a whole lot you could do about it. But Jim, he was determined to find a better way, make towing safer. So he created this hitch and what did he call it? The Eliminator or something? You got it. The Eliminator. Catchy name. And did it take off? Did people realize what a game changer this was? Well, not right away. Mm. It's kind of like sometimes the world isn't quite ready for a revolution, you know? I feel that. So what happened? Well, it's not like the Eliminator just disappeared completely. Right, because then we wouldn't be talking about the Pro Pride today. Exactly. So the story picks up again in 1993. Okay, early 90s, grunge is king. What's happening in the world of trailer hitches? Well, this is where it gets interesting. Jim Hensley, our inventor, he meets a guy named Colin Connell. And this meeting, it's a turning point. Oh, well, like a fateful encounter. Yeah. Serendipity. You could say that. Because, you see, Colin, he sees the potential in Jim's hitch design. He must have been blown away when Jim showed him what he had come up with. Oh, absolutely. And this leads to a licensing deal. They form a company called Hensley Manufacturing. Hensley Manufacturing. Okay. And get this. They rename the hitch. Let me guess. The Hensley Arrow. Bingo. Wow. Talk about a name that sticks. I mean, even people who don't know much about hitches have heard of the Hensley Arrow. It's true. It became the gold standard for towing stability. But here's the thing. Remember Central Innovative, Jim's original company. Right. They were still around, weren't they? Yeah. So it gets kind of complicated with the business arrangements. Yeah. But the main thing to keep in mind is, Jim, he never stopped innovating. He always thought he could improve the design, make it even better. Even with the Hensley Arrow being a huge success. Yep. He had this drive, this vision to keep pushing the boundaries. But... You know, not everyone was on board. Oh, I bet. So we've got some tension brewing here. Like, the company's happy with the Hensley Arrow. It's selling well. But Jim's got other plans. Exactly. And that's where things get really interesting. See, Hensley Manufacturing at the time, they had a VP, a guy named Sean Woodruff. Okay, Sean Woodruff. Got it. What's his role in all of this? Well, Sean, he was actually with Hensley Manufacturing for 10 years. He'd been there from the early days of the Hensley Arrow, knew the ins and outs of the business, so not just some corporate suit, he was really in the trenches. Exactly. He understood the engineering, the manufacturing, and most importantly, he understood what customers were looking for in a hitch. And here's where it gets kind of crazy. He sees what Jim's working on, these new ideas, and he believes in it, like really believes in it. Wow. So he's caught in the middle of this. On one hand, the company is success with the Hensley Arrow, but on the other hand, Jim's vision for something even better. And to make it even more complicated, he starts to see that maybe... Just maybe the company's not as open to these new ideas as he thought they'd be. They're hesitant to rock the boat, you know. So what does he do? I mean, talk about a dilemma. Well, he makes a decision. He decides to leave Hensley Manufacturing. Whoa, really? Yep. Walks away from it all. Right. But he doesn't just retire to a beach somewhere. He takes a leap of faith. What do you mean? What does he do? He decides to team up with Jim. Wow. Talk about a power move. So they join forces. What happens next? They start their own company, ProPride. And the rest, as they say, is history. So this is this is where the ProPride 3P comes into being. Yep, 2007, the ProPride 3P hits the market. And it's like the ultimate evolution of Jim's original idea, right? Taking all those years of experience, all those interactions, and putting it into this one hitch. And more than that, 
they were laser focused on building a company that really stood behind its product. You know, customer mm -hmm. service was huge for them. Yeah, because what good is a fantastic product if you can't get any help when you need it? Exactly. And we actually came across a customer review that really sums this up. A guy named Tim Feltner. He actually owned a Hensley Arrow before switching to the ProPride 3P. Okay, so he had experience with both. What did he say? Well, he was really disappointed with the customer service he got from Hensley when he needed a repair on his Arrow. But then he gets the ProPride and he's blown away by the difference. Said they were super responsive, helpful, went above and beyond to make sure he was taken care of. That's huge, especially with something as important as towing, right? Like you yeah. need to know the company's got your back if you run into any issues. No doubt. And Tim's story, it's not an isolated incident. You see that sentiment echoed in review after review. Mm. People love the Pro Pride, but they also rave about the company itself. That makes a difference. It definitely does. Okay, so let's bring this back to our listener. They're deep diving into the Pro Pride 3P, maybe thinking about taking the plunge themselves. What's the big takeaway here? Well, I think the big takeaway is this. Yeah. The Pro Pride 3P, it's not just some random product that popped up out of nowhere. It's the result of a long journey, decades of innovation, and a passion for solving a real problem. It's like you're not just buying a hitch, you're buying into a legacy. Exactly. And a commitment to quality, to customer satisfaction, to constantly pushing the envelope. That's going to count for something, right? For sure. Yeah. And it all started with this one guy, Jim Hensley, tinkering away back in 1972. Amazing what one person with an idea can spark, isn't it? Absolutely. And who knows, maybe our listener will be inspired to go out there and start their own revolution. You never know where that next big idea will come from. Exactly. So keep your eyes open, your mind's curious, and your hitches hitched. We'll catch you in the next deep dive.